Hello everybody, welcome back to Order of Battle, US Marines and Paradox Camera playing. Saipan is next, June 44. With support bases established in the Marshall and Gilbert Islands, the invasion of the Marianas is finally at hand. Consisting of much larger islands than the previous battles, a serious challenge may, be, may lay ahead. We want a serious challenge, so that's good. <clears throat> Mission breathing. The seizure of the Marianas will cut direct communications between the Japanese homeland and their forces in the western Pacific region. In addition, B-29 Super Fortress bombers operating from the, from the islands will be well within range of Japan. According to the common strategy, our first goal, after establishing a beachhead, is to take the airfield at Aslido. From here we must advance north, past Mount Tapu Chao, in the center of the islands, and destroy the remaining Japanese forces. To draw Japanese troops away from the intended landing zone, a faint landing has been conducted off Tanapak Harbor. Once the real invasion further south is shaping up, these forces will be ordered to join the fight. Several battleships, cruisers and destroyers serve as fire support, ready to cover the landings. Being much larger than previous islands destinations, Saipan will surely put all our combat experience to the test. Right, primary objectives, capture and hold Charan Kanoa. That's this one right here. Also capture and hold Garapan. That's that one. And capture and hold North Airfield. All the way up here. Okay. Secondaries. Enemy tanks do less than 30 damage. Effectively repelling any armored counterattack on Saipan will allow us to evaluate the Japanese Shinhoto Chiha medium tank. Okay. Capture Aslido Airfield. A unit of P-47 Thunderbolts will deploy on the airfield. When rearmed with rocket launchers, these aircraft can provide effective close air support. Nice. Clear South Saipan. When all VPs in the Southern Saipan have been captured, units from the fainted landing force will be ordered to join the assault. We have to clear all of this to open up for the second assault. Okay. Alright, so where's the landing zone? That's down here. Alright, so we gotta land in this area. I suggest uh, we land both to the north and to the south of Charan Kanoa. And uh, yeah, so let's put a supply ship there another supply ship and one more down here maybe move this one there and uh, so we need an anti-tank gun since we have to shoot down tanks before they do too much damage so let's go ahead and buy one of those anti-tank so what do you want here 37 millimeter 3 inch or the 90 millimeter. This is actually an AA gun that can be used and it's very cheap. It's only 60. There's also the M16 MGMC. I kind of like this 3 inch gun, but it's very expensive. See what's the difference here against against armor? It's actually just as good. No, this one is this one is uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's try this 90 millimeter, and it will need some transportation.
and just put it somewhere around here. Now let's get some troops on the ground. Some boots on the ground and maybe a steward. And more marines. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four. One more there. And then down here, more Marines. One, two, and three. like we're gonna have to land right next to this area right here like that and then a steward we'll come in down here and then we need artillery Let's get one of the 75 millimeters down here. And then 75 millimeter plus. Oh, I'm out of points. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's drop this one then. get some artillery instead. Let's get the priest up here. Oh. oh, the priest is too expensive. I get this one then. Priest is five. put the destroyers out put them central and then we got the aircraft but we got nowhere to land we have to take the Lido airfield uh, that could take a while so I'm not gonna deploy the air forces right now so this is basically what we got really like to get the priest out though. Uh, that's gonna have to wait. Okay, so let's land here. Get ready to land at the artillery and get some supplies in. Up here. all these guys and the 75 millimeter and the 90 millimeter and supplies supplies what is this this is engineers and this is a bunker Let's start firing on this bunker here. And on the engineers here. And on this bunker right here. Fire on this bunker. Now we can actually take that. So we have space to land the HMC next turn. Up, up here we can take a shot at these guys, that would not be advisable. Start firing on this one instead. Alright, that was the first. 
turn. Let's get Japanese turn one. Oh yeah, we also have the um, battleships. They will do a lot of damage. Nice. Now the Japanese turn. Ouch. Three damage here. But two in return, that's fine. Two damage and one in return. Okay. Artillery incoming. And also down here. Ouch, lots of artillery. And a mortar attack. Another mortar attack. Alright. So no enemy tanks yet. A warm welcome. As soon as our landing craft reached the beach on western Saipan, it seemed to explode. Great columns of dust and debris and debris rise up as a crescendo of artillery and mortar shells break loose. Okay. Alright, so we've got to break out here to get the HMC on board. So let's move out this way. Get the artillery up there. Um, change these guys around. up to here uh, do we want to do that then he can move through and attack my HMC hmm this one's not gonna do any damage at all so I think I'd rather leave it it sounds crazy, but if I if I kill it now, well, I could kill it with this one, but then I can't move in, can I? Maybe I can. Yes, I can. Okay, let's do that then. So we protect the artillery with a ring of infantry around it. These guys can just replenish. So we are all okay down here. Up here, I want to get both these in. This is the HMC land that straight away and then we have the 90 millimeter AA gun how do I get that landed I could move these guys out here and then land it there and then Render this one useless. Hmm. Attack these guys. And then keep this bunker here, that's actually useful. It will not do any damage when it only has one strength. And it blocks off uh, Japanese coming in. So I'm gonna fire on this one. And then these guys will replenish. And replenish. And then we have these ships. Move it forward. Start hammering this one. And keep firing on the engineers. And the AT gun. This guy hasn't moved. He can move down and take a shot at the AT gun. Or he can just stay and dig in here. I think he'll just stay. Dig in. Put these to sleep. Alright. 
Japanese turn two. Engineers are getting hammered. Ah, oh, no. That was not part of the plan. <laughs> okay, now the Japanese can move in and take a shot at my A AA gun. Alright, they are moving back. These are snipers, I think. Zero damage. Mortar attack. Pretty ineffective attack so far because he's still got all the artillery. And that will make a punch. We gotta get to that artillery and take it out. That will be a priority. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Also down here. Still no enemy tanks, okay. Reinforcements, the second assault wave is now ready for deployment. So we got another 20 points. Okay, where do we wanna put, uh, we, we're pretty, um, pretty tight up here. I guess we could move out a little bit just to create some space. What do we got? We got the raiders, we got another steward, and we got the priest. That's nine, that's eleven points. Where can we put that? Uh, we could put a steward down here. And then the raiders somewhere. Hmm. Anyway, I think I need the priest up here so I can move these guys forward and make space for the uh, priest. Yeah, let's do that. Priest. Priest will land here. Stuart will land here, and then the raiders, let's put the raiders up here, I've still got 9 points, if we want to spend, we got 600 points, what would be advisable to buy, uh, tanks very expensive, we got plenty of artillery, or we got 3 artillery, we got the anti-tank, Actually, we have we have the scout car as well. We just need to uh, revive it. How much would that cost? Forty-five. That's pretty cheap. Let's get the scout car down here. And then we could revive the uh, Bofors 40, 40 millimeter, and that could shoot at tanks as well. Actually, how much would that cost to revive? Fifty. We'll think about that. Think about that for a second. So the artillery is in here somewhere. Let's start firing on this guy. No effect. We gotta get this guy out of his position somehow. And we could move up here. Okay, that's just plain wrong. The Japanese infantry have bazookas. Japanese did not have bazookas. I'm sorry. Uh, this guy will replenish. 
this guy will replenish. this one. If it moves up here it will be shot at from the bunker so I'm not gonna do that. Just stay there. So up here we have to move out a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll take the tank forward. We could drive it all the way up here and take a shot at the artillery. Do that. And then we can move these guys up and take out these guys. guys forward and start shooting at his AT gun up there. Take a shot at those guys. Uh, yeah, like that. Get the priest on board. Oh, that's gonna be next turn though. So just uh, move these guys These guys down here replenish and get the A gun down here. Replenish these guys. And what do we got left? I think that's it. So we got the ships. Fire at that one. Fire at that one. Move this one down here. Fire at that one. And that leaves just that one, okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's run the Japanese turn as well. Battleships are firing at the engineers, that's pretty bad. Because they are really useless. That was a good one. Okay, Japanese turn. Here comes the tank. Oh, these guys are moving in to take a shot at my GMC. Nope, they're shooting at that guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what? So still zero damage from the tank can still fire though. Now we got infantry moving forward in the south. These guys are good. Infantry coming in there as well. Ouch. Well, I'm not gonna get to that artillery anytime soon. New fresh Infantry coming in as well. Okay. Yeah, that artillery is deadly. Mortar attack, not so much. Alright, let's put a break in here then guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, bye bye.